Well, good morning, everybody. Good, good morning. morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all this morning? I hope you're doing so well. This is a beautiful day that the Lord has made. Yes, it is. So let us both, us and you, choose to rejoice and be glad in this beautiful day yes. that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Hello, hello again. And I'm one of the co-hosts of Inspired Life Ministries, Pastor Kofi Bryant Sr. And this is my lovely co-host, Pastor Lachelle Bryant. Thank you, Pastor. And as I said before, we are Inspired Life Ministries, praying that we're in front of you this morning, specifically yes. to ignite something within you this morning that may set someone else free. Yes. If we can inspire you today to do what God called you to do, then we've won. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome Hallelujah. to our Sunday service. And again, we welcome you. Listen, last Sunday, we set, God set our hearts on fire mm. by showing us how to be disciples. Yes. See, Jesus picked 12 and those 12 became apostles. Amen. Amen. Yes, Pastor. And so we are endeavoring to be like Jesus. Yes. To absolutely. be like the 12. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, Except sir. it's millions of us. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we are in, in front of you this morning trying to uh, induct you into the category of being a disciple. A disciple for Christ, yes. amen? amen, for Jesus Christ, to be like Jesus, amen? And we learned last week, to be like Jesus, we must do three important things. We must deny mm. ourselves. That's right. Because you can't be like Christ if you're only like you. Yeah. And secondly, we must take up our cross. See, each of us has a cross to bear. That's right. Your situation is your type of cross. Take up your cross. And number three, follow Jesus. See, take your situation, take it up, and put yourself in line with God's word, which is following Jesus. Yes, amen? Amen. Amen. So today, we're going to go a little bit further, okay? So if you have your Bibles, what scripture should they turn to pastor we are going to luke chapter 9 we covered verse 23 last week and this week today we're going to cover verses 24 and 25 but i'm going to actually read down to 27 if you would follow me follow along with me amen pastor. um good morning again but also i'm going to recap and read verse 23 but our key verses today are going to be verses 24 and 25 from luke chapter 9 the All new right. testament i'm reading Let's from the it. thank you <laughs> i am reading from the amplified translation and the word of god reads and he said to all if any person wills to come after me let him deny himself disown himself mm. forget lose sight of himself mm -hmm. and his own interests Refuse and give up himself. Wow. And take up his cross daily and follow me. Verse 24. For whoever will preserve his life and save it will lose it and destroy it. My Lord. But whoever loses his life for my sake, he will he will preserve and save it. Mm -hmm. From the etern from the penalty of eternal death. Excuse yeah, exactly. me. Verse 25. For what does it profit a man oh if he gains the whole world and ruins or forfeits, loses himself? Your translation may read, loses his soul. Mm. Verse 26, because whoever is ashamed of me and my teachings, of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the threefold glory, mm. the splendor and majesty of himself and of the Father and of the holy angels. Oh Verse 27, However, I will tell you truly, there are some of those standing here mm -hmm. who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. My Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My Come Lord. on and let's my give God Lord, a hand clap Lord. of praise my for his Lord. word. Hallelujah. hallelujah. His Lord. word will not return back void yes. to us. Yes. I encourage you to take notes. Go back, study the notes, read your notes, go back and listen to this message. Mm -hmm. So last week, we talked about 
the, the denying of ourselves, the terms of discipleship, denying ourselves, any who desires to follow after Christ, mm-hmm. to take up your cross daily and to follow Jesus daily. Amen. So today we're going to share again what the warning question judgment of the materialistic. Hmm. And if time is allowed it, the di- disciples reward. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But our key verses today, again, are verse 24 and 25. When we look at verse 24, it says, For whosoever will save his life mm-hmm. shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save him. So when you look at the word life, the warning to the materialistic is clear. Mm-hmm. The word life Couché in this context means the natural animal life, mm. the earthly life that quickly passes away. How does it pass away, Pastor Shelley? From the fading, aging, decaying, corruptible life of the earth. The warning is twofold. Mama. The warning is twofold. So I'm going to give you number one. Do not save your life for yourself. If a person saves his life, That is, if that person works to please himself on the earth, Mm -hmm. he will lose his life eternally. See, a man does not have life to, a man does not have life to indulge himself, getting all he can of the comforts and pleasures and, uh, and, and everything that he desires of life, to hoard life. Hmm keeping all the good things of life and seldom becoming involving in giving and sacrificing to help those who do not have. I want us to look at Luke chapter 8, verse 14. Chapter 8, verse 14. And I'm reading from the Amplified Translation, and it reads in this manner. And as for what fell among the thorns, these are the people who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked and suffocated Suffocated. with the anxiety and cares and riches and pleasures of life. Mm. And their fruit does not ripen. In other words, it does not come to maturity and perfection. Mm -hmm. So when we look at a person who hoards things, and and I used to be a hoarder. I'm Mm -hmm. careful how I say that because as I'm saying it, I'm like, don't be lying, Pastor Shelley. Are you still a hoarder? Are you still holding on to things? Mm. Sometimes we can hold on to things that we've not used in months, in years. Like mm. for a person, I talk about myself, who weight has gone up and down. Well, if you used to be a size six and now you a size 10, why are you still holding on to those size six clothes? They rot, they decay. They go out of style. Bless somebody with them. Mm. Amen. Amen. So number two, spend your life for Christ. Note the words for my sake. Yeah. In verse 25, it says what? For my yes. sake. Yes. Now, when we look at this, this is Jesus speaking. The person who loses his life, that is who works to please mm-hmm. Christ on earth, mm-hmm. shall save his life eternally. A. A man has to know God for himself Self, yes. and fellowship with God. Hmm. Your scripture, scripture reference is 1 John chapter 1, verse 3. Let's go there. That's right. 1 John chapter 1. Yes. We're going to begin reading. I'm getting at there. Verse number 3. Yes. 1 John chapter 1, verse 3. And I'm reading from the um, Amplified Translation. That's right. Thank you, Pastor. And it reads, What we have seen and ourselves heard, we are also telling you so that you too may realize and enjoy fellowship as partners and partakers with us. And this fellowship that we have, which is a distinguishing mark of Christians, Mm -hmm. is with the Father, with His Son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Messiah. So we if a man is going to lose his life to save his life, meaning that he's going to live a life for Christ, he has to know God for himself. And he has to have fellowship with God. You know how we discuss and we talk about that intimate relationship with Christ? Amen. B, a man has to know men and fellowship with men. 
I want you to look at 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. Please write these scriptures down. Thank you, Psalmist, for writing in the scriptures. But if we really are living and walking in the light as he himself is in the light, we have true, unbroken, broken. hallelujah, fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses. It removes us from all sin and guilt. It keeps us cleansed from sin in all of its forms and manifestations. Amen. That's good. Amen. Yes, it is. I want you to look at Luke chapter 19, verse 10. But first, I want to give you letter C. And letter C is a man has life to help save a world that's lost in yes, sin, yes. in shame, and in suffering. Yes. So let's look at chapter um, 19 of Luke. Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And the word of God reads in this manner. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So let's go to, we're still in Luke chapter 9. I'll go back to Luke chapter 9. I want us to look at verse 25 because that is one of our um, highlighted scriptures for today. It says, for what profit? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and ruins or forfeits, loses himself? And so here it is. If he gained the whole world and lose himself or be cast away, the materialistic is questioned. The man who seeks to save his life, he does what? He works to please himself. He is, is, is challenged to think. Now, Jesus Christ asks one question, but it has two parts. And I would encourage us that as I'm sharing this message mm -hmm. that we would do a self-examination. Okay. okay. So number one, the picture pastor of gaining the whole uh -huh. world. Uh -huh. He did not say this. What if a man could gain and own all of the land in California or in Texas or all of the wealth in Africa? He said if a man could gain the whole world. Mm. That's just a part of it. Amen. Mm. All the world's land, the wealth, the honor, the prestige, the pleasure, the gold, the silver, the satisfaction. Just imagine for a moment. Mm. If a man could gain the whole world, no man can or will gain it. But many pursue. And some do a, 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 a gain. They do gain a great deal of land and wealth and honor and carnal satisfaction. Oh, but my, what would it profit us to accept Jesus Christ and to have relationship with him and to deny ourselves and yes. to pick up our cross yes. and to follow oh, him yeah. daily? What yes. would it profit us? Hallelujah. Great rewards. Hallelujah. To have an intimate relationship, fellowship, mm. relationship with God and then with other brothers and sisters in the mm -hmm. body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Number two, the picture of losing self, yes. of being cast away. Uh -huh. And it's right there in, in Luke chapter 9, verse 25, which is our key verse. But let us look at Matthew chapter 22, verses 12 and 13. Okay. It reads, and he said, friend, how did you come in here without putting on the appropriate wedding garment? Uh -huh. And he was speechless, muzzled, gagged. Verse mm. 13, then the king said to the attendants, Tie him hand and foot and throw him into the darkness Dark. outside. There will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Let me say this. Mm. Heaven and hell are two real places. Mm. When we look at the word cast away, it means to suffer the loss or to forfeit, to lose what is of greatest value. Mm. To be punished by forfeiting and losing. Think about something that you treasure. Mm or you value, or you hold it high esteem. Okay. Now, I want you to look at yourself. Mm -hmm. And that very thing that you hold as, a, hold as a treasure, or you hold as value, or you hold in high esteem, mm -hmm. so much so, is it worth losing your soul? Think about it. Is it worth losing your soul? 
clearly right here in our scripture text, it says, what profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? See, we need to take heed to the warning, to the materialistic. You can have material things. You can have nice things. But don't let the things have you. Don't be a hoarder. Mm. Don't go seeking and searching, trying to gain the whole world. You'll never be able to gain the, the whole world. Mm. See, the Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein. Mm -hmm. Everything belongs to God. Mm. So how can you obtain something and gain? How can you gain something that doesn't really belong to you? You'll never be able to gain the, the entire world. Mm. So why not get on the winning team, which is Christ Jesus? Why not stay on the winning team, which is Christ Jesus? Yeah, I know you desire some things, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the word says, delight thyself in the Lord, and he will yeah, give you, you the desires of your heart. heart. Yes. But what are we delighting ourselves in? See, sometimes we delight ourselves more in, the thi more in things than we do in delighting growing spiritually, more than we delight oh, in winning true. souls for Christ, Come more on. than we delight dying to ourselves yes. and taking up our cross daily and following in Christ. Uh -huh. So what are you delighting yourself in? We're disciples of the true living King, King Jesus. Hmm. We're disciples, ambassadors for Christ. And we don't need to just talk about it, but we need to be about our Father's business. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah goes right there. Hallelujah. Yes, be about hallelujah. your father's business. Thank you, Almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are you about your father's business this morning? See, Pastor encouraged us not to become hoarders. Mm. Not Been to there. become collectors of valuables. Jesus, thank See, you, God. See, the reason why mm. you hoard is the presupposition that you won't get that or obtain that value any longer. So you hold on to the value while you have it in your possession. Yes. Amen? Amen? But the concept of hoarding is, is, is not for you, believer. Come on, Pastor. See, because you are a disciple and a closed hand cannot get the blessings of God. You see what I'm saying? So you cannot be a disciple holding on to the value that God gave you. No, that's a hoarder. <clears throat> you must give what God has given you. See, after you deny yourself, mm -hmm. Thank you, then Lord. you pick up that cross. When you begin to follow Christ, yes. you begin to give of what you have. That's right. As pastor said, you cannot gain the whole world. And Thank in you, the Lord. process of doing so, you might lose your soul. So Christ asked the question, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? And, and in that case, pastor, he thinks he gains the world right. because he doesn't really gain it. That's, right. That's why it's not profiting him. That's you follow right. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? It doesn't. It doesn't. Become a disciple this morning. Amen? Become someone who's going to use their life according to how Christ would use his yes. and help others come into the kingdom. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, we Hallelujah. thank God for your attendance this morning. We pray that like we always say that something valuable has been said or better yet, I know it's been said. I just pray that something valuable has been caught by your attention thank you. and that you have seized the moment to make a difference in your life right now by taking the truth shared this morning and applying it to your life. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, reach out to him right now where you are, and he will come in and save you. And then, my friend, you can become a disciple of Christ. Yes. A disciple you, indeed. Amen? Thank you, Lord. All right. Well, listen, our time is up. We thank you for yours, and we will see you on our next time before you. Until then, just always know that ILM loves you. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Oops, that's it. God. <laughs> Not me, I'm like God. God. Yes. Loves you. We'll see you soon.